if you wouldn't mind telling us what's happening with the real estate market in Tampa Bay, with people moving to the area full-time, part-time, and also investors now eyeing the area. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, to say that the uh, Tampa market is on fire would probably be an understatement. Uh, anyone that was on the fence about purchasing property in Tampa Bay immediately jumped over that fence at, because of the interest rates. The interest rates are at a historic low. So anyone that was on that fence just saw the opportunity and seized it. Our inventories are currently at all time lows. We have property values that are appreciating at rates that we've never seen. And it's simply because there aren't enough properties available to supply the demand. The demand is just through the roof. And uh, the, the good part about this is that the sales activity is still there. So despite there being this tremendous demand and a low supply, business is still going on. The, the question that we're asking on our side is, is how low can it go? That's our, our thing that most of the people in our industry is just wondering, like how much lower can it go before it starts to cool down a little bit? Um, and for residential first time buyers, first time home buyers, and also for people purchasing second properties, that puts a further strain on the inventory because you have properties that are being removed from the market and nothing being added to it. So that creates an additional strain. Also with the interest rates so low, a lot of people are choosing to just refinance their home instead of going out and going through the home buying process because it's just, it's so competitive out there. Uh, to give you some perspective, I have a little cheat sheet with uh, some wonderful statistics that are just, uh, they're, they're incredible. And I, I talk with a lot of realtors from my role, people that have been doing the business, in the business and doing the business for 40, 50 years in this area, born and raised, and they are just floored by the statistics that they're seeing. Uh, in the past 30 days, 22% of home in Tampa's Hillsborough County have sold for above listing price. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about bidding wars that are happening. Uh, in total, 58% of homes are selling at or above listing price, which is incredible. Uh, in February, we've seen a 61% drop in active listings in the Tampa Bay metro area year over year. Uh, last time, last year around this same time, we had about three months of inventory. Right now, we're hovering at around one month in the Tampa Bay metro area. Uh, the total sales, which is a great thing, the total sales have grown by 13% in Tampa, and they've grown by 8% in the Tampa Bay metro area year over year. Uh, the average days on market in the Tampa Bay metro area is 35 days. And that is down, that is down 35% year over year uh, in yeah. February. And what, uh, what's even more surprising is that luxury sales are up. According to Florida Realtors, uh, the, the closed sales that are over $400,000 in Hillsborough County is up 47% wow. from 2019 to 2020. And if you go even higher, the closed sales over a million dollars in Hillsborough County is up 78% from 2019 to 2020. Wow. Now, what, what, we're, what we're thinking to ourselves is, what is bringing everyone to Tampa? What, what is making the people wanna move here? What, is, what are investors seeing? And uh, like, like Justine had mentioned, the warm weather, we have you know, a number of tax advantages, we have uh, significant affordability in Tampa when compared to other major metro areas. And if, if anyone just turns on the news station for a, a day or watches the, the something you know, in the, the morning tidbit, there's always something about Tampa. Uh, this morning, I just pulled up a quick Google. Tampa's ranked the third best city in the nation for families, the second in Florida for job creation, the number one large city for US for first time home buyers, top retirement city in the nation, best city for military veterans, number two for best places for family and friends to visit, the best, I, I, I'll end it soon. <laughs> the best city to live, the best city to live in Florida and the top area for commercial investors. And I could keep going on this list, but I won't. Best uh, city for championships. Yes, of course. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady, Gronk, the boys, the lightning. I mean, the, the rays, everything in this area is terrific. Uh, it's just a really incredible and exciting time to live in or to move to Tampa. Uh, and it's obvious that a lot of people have the same sentiment.